Financial crunch is also squeezing the housing market. The number of foreclosure filings shot up in the third quarter. More than 760,000 homeowners got at least one foreclosure notice between July and September. That's 71 percent higher than in the same period last year, and it's not expected to get better anytime soon. One listing service, Realty Track, expects more than a million homes to be in foreclosure by the end of next year. And North and South Carolina aren't immune from the trouble. The number of mortgages 90 days past due is at record highs in both states. News Channel 36 reporter Beth Shane shows us why. Even if it's not happening to you, it's affecting your home in this It's Your Money report. Let's begin with the bad news. Foreclosures at record highs. And real estate consultant Chuck Graham says the worst is still to come. I think we are still peaking as far as what's going to happen. Those empty homes are unsightly, bad for your value if you're next door. But those houses are in the market, messing with the overall market. And they mean there are too many people who wanted the American dream and ended up with the subprime American nightmare. Those are very stressful situations. Uh, they don't have equity to back up the situation and really where the real fault and the problems are that, uh, that we are facing. Here's the good news, though. That light blue line is North Carolina's foreclosure rate, far below the national average. The same is true in South Carolina. The other good news is that Graham says the banks are starting to get that foreclosure is not good for anybody. They are working with homeowners, and that means there may actually be fewer actual foreclosures. He also, though, has a dire prediction about the housing market in general. So where is the bottom? That's our next It's Your Money report coming up in a half hour. I'm Beth Shane, News Channel 36. Okay, Beth, we'll see you at 6.